Cinema 5D's NAB show coverage. Sponsored by BH, the professional source for all your video needs. Hi, I'm Dan May with Blackmagic Design here at NAB 2012. I'm here to show you the Blackmagic Cinema Camera. We wanted to create an acquisition device that was really a, a new, high-tech, but very open and friendly device. And what we've done is we've taken a lot of the technology we've already had and we've kind of combined this all into this great, uh, this great camera that we have here. What we were thinking about when we built this camera was we wanted to really have it feel like it was a film camera. There's lots of great video cameras out there, but we wanted to have a film-like feel to the camera. So there was a couple things we were shooting for. We, we knew we wanted to have a higher than HD resolution. So we have a basically a 2.5K uh, resolution on this. That's great because as we record to Cinema DNG RAW files, uh, you have the ability to get this big file off of there, work with it on a solid state drive, which we need for the high speed, and go straight into things like color grading or into editing as well with that. But some people aren't going to want the Cinema DNG, so we also do it in ProRes as well as DNX HD. Going back to the idea of having this open and flexible camera, being able to meet different people's needs. Uh, we also wanted to make sure that it had a really high dynamic range. It has 13 stops on there. We also wanted it to feel like it was a high-tech camera, so it's got things like Thunderbolt on there. Everything is really touchscreen controllable, so if I want to go in and choose menus and set all my settings up, that's all driven by you know, a touchscreen. So it's not covered in a million buttons. This is all software-driven. I can set up all my takes and my shots, got my keyboard all set up in there so we can have all of our metadata pretty much embedded directly into the camera there. And we wanted it to, you know, we wanted the design of it to feel like it was something that could be, you know, is it a studio camera, is it a run and gun camera? It's, you know, it's big enough for you to mount, it's small enough to be able to hold. Um, you know, we have actually a handlebar type situation for it so we can kind of do a run, run and gun with it. It is the world's first Thunderbolt, so we are able to use that Thunderbolt to directly capture video out, directly into a computer that had Thunderbolt on there. We also include our UltraScope software, so you can actually go Thunderbolt out into our scopes via Thunderbolt there. The camera actually does come with a full license of our Resolve software, so part of that price is getting that dongle to be able to do that color grading, so we want to make sure people have that ability. It's basically an EF and ZF compatible, so you can go ahead and use very common you know, glass that's going to be out there. And again, we wanted to make something that was not only a really great looking and high functioning, but very high tech, uh, open and flexible camera. We believe this will be shipping in about July, and it's shipping for $2,995, so it's a very accessible camera. It's a camera that some people will aspire to because of the feature set that it has, and it's a camera that a cinematographer will be able to basically buy for themselves rather than having to rent. So it fits a nice piece of the market where uh, it's kind of underserved right now, and we're really excited to have it, and people have been very receptive of it so far. So thanks for joining us.